there is no shortage of options when it comes to silver bullion products, especially in the world of coins and rounds. But in this video, there is a new coin that is going to be revealed, that is going to be introduced, that I think is going to really raise the eyebrows of many in the stacking community. I'll explain why as we explore. This display shows a lot of the silver bullion products that are available today in the form of rounds and coins. And as you can see, there's no shortage of variety here, but there's many more than what I'm showing here before you here. Uh, but the most popular is the American Silver Eagle that you can see here. The American Silver Eagle was first released in 1986, and since then there's been a world of different options uh, that you can buy from around the world in terms of coins, medals, and rounds. But we feel in many ways that uh, the selection as, as such that has caused many people to be a little bit concerned, not only in terms of premiums, but also quality, quality issues. And there's also security issues that are also a concern. And some mints, like the Scottsdale Mint, provide some pretty remarkable uh, security features although they may milk spot, as you can see on that piece, that reserve round. But there's other options that are out there, such as the uh, Panda, which is the now uh, does not come in, in weighed in ounces. They are weighed in grams. And the 2015 was the last year that it was weighed in ounces, and this particular coin does not have any uh, purity or weight on it. So uh, and that option for many is kind of out the door. And by the way, uh, pandas, I feel, in a sense, are not an option for me for other reasons as well. There's nothing wrong, I don't believe, for buying backdated ones in the secondary market. But then you have other things like the, uh, the Libertads, which has been around for quite a number of years. In fact, they were there in bullion form a couple of years before the American Silver Eagle. Um, and there's another version that was around even before that. The fact or the, the notion and the selection that has been around in the form of coins has been relatively few and far between and dating back to the 70s and 80s. But there were plenty of rounds out there and plenty of bars. In fact, some of that vintage, those vintage products are quite, quite popular. But nowadays, there's a lot of different coins. Some coins have come and gone. Uh, some coin series started with just one year, like Suriname's coin, which I thought was a really nice piece, but you don't see that much anymore. There's other options, like from the island nations of New Way, Fiji, and, uh, and others on the Cook Islands that have products that uh, are contained in very small series that have come and gone. Uh, but, you know, or they may be uh, popular, but there's a fairly high premium for them. Now, what I'm about to show you at this moment in time is something that is quite remarkable. I'm going to pause this and clear the deck, as it were, and we're going to take a look at a new bullion product that I think is going to blow your mind. Uh, and we don't know what the pricing of this is going to be yet, but based off of the mintage, I think that it very well could be um, a... Uh, much more attractive price point than what we're used to seeing. So this, without further ado, and before I meant show this particular coin, I want to first uh, remind you about uh, a certain mint that has produced bullion products that have literally taken the stacking community by storm. And that is the Germanium Mint. And its latest bullion product is the one ounce Germanium Mint uh, bar here. And they are cast bars, and there's a little bit of a premium to these, but they are quite attractive options out there for stacking in the one ounce variety. It's their first one ounce bullion product ever. Uh, these one ounce bars, and I showcased them on my channel quite uh, uh, before they were actually released. The Germania Mint uh, sends some of these products, and they mostly provide collector bullion products not actually you know low premium bullion products until they release their their silver bars with the smallest size being 100 gram 
So this was a little bit revolutionary to provide a mass-produced bar that is shrink-wrapped in plastic complete with an actual hologram certificate and individual serial numbers on these. That is quite impressive, I think, uh, to be able to provide these and this option. Very high quality, was second to none for the Germanium Mint. There are other cast bar sizes. I have a 5 and 10 ounce bar variety of myself. I would like to collect them all, but it provides a great bullion option for having silver. And so, the next step is to go beyond just a bullion round or metal or fantasy coin, such as they had with some of their other issues like the Allegory series and the, Ger and the Germania. They now have produced, for the first time ever, the very first bullion coin. And here it is. It is the Golden Eagle. We're going to take a look at this. This is a beautiful piece, uh, and it will be coming out uh, in June or July of this year. The Golden Eagle is the newest uh, bullion coin from the Germanium Mint. And boy, it is spectacular. It is amazing. Let's first talk about the design of this particular piece from the Central Bank of Malta. This is the eternal battle between good and evil. Seems to have no end. This is the theme of the first bullion coin from the Germanium Mint. The majestic golden eagle struggles against the dangerous and vicious serpent, symbolizing temptation. And again, this is something we see in some manner or form on the Mexican coat of arms for its obverse for the Libertad. So it's kind of neat to see this in a different light in an action-packed scene here on this particular piece. And so the cl clash between Europe's strongest eagle and the reptile takes place against the background of sea waves. That is the security feature that you see here, kind of like what we see on the, on the uh, Britannia rules of the waves that we see here on the, on the, Liber on the uh, Britannias here. This is something else. To see that feature now, this is sort of a lenticular design. We don't see that quite as prominent, but it does kind of move and shift in a certain way when you turn it, although that is sort of an illusion. Uh, but it does have that shifting feel to it, kind of like we see on the, on the Britannias as well. So in that way, it's similar, but it's a completely new and different wave pattern than what you see on the, uh, on the Britannia. And it, it refers to the Mediterranean Sea in which Malta is located. It's an island nation. The Central Bank of Malta is the partner on the Germanium Mint on this issue. Now, the reverse of this piece has a very beautiful and attractive Maltese cross here. This is the 5 euro bullion coin. And you can see there's its denomination that you can see. And it has the effigy of Malta placed on a wreath inspired by a painting on the ceiling of the Grand Master's Palace in Valletta. The, the whole is surrounded by olive and palm branches, which is a symbol of peace. Lily blossoms refer to majesty and glory, while roses are an attribute of purity and harmony. It is also the first coin to bear the Germania Mint's mint mark. So this is indeed from a mint in Poland, recognizing here the Germania Mint for the whole Germanic region, and uh, but it is showing here this Maltese cross representing the island nation of Malta. And there's a lot of uh, intricacy here uh, with a reticulated pattern in the background here that gives it that uh, ever secure uh, method here. And the Germania Mint emblem there that you can see here, the first of its kind for a bullion coin is, is seen there, sort of like a privy mark there. Five euros a denomination, making this an actual certified coin recognized by the island nation, the Central Bank of, of Malta. And so it is a beautifully done piece here, uh, showcasing it uh, for you guys to see in all of its glory. It is amazing. And this is a lovely coin, and it is something that I think that uh, once it becomes available, I'll be very interested to see what the price point is on it. But I'm excited to see this new version. I think if the price is right on these, it'll be a very popular release uh, for, um, for, the, for the world of stacking. Um, I don't know how these will come packaged in terms to you, but uh, the ones that I got did come in a pla in, in plastic capsule, but I'm taking it out to show you its full detail and glory here. Now, here is the thing, why I, here is the one aspect of these, why I think this may be a reasonably priced option. 
The quality is second to none, as you can see. It looks like a collector coin, but indeed it is an actual bullion coin. It has a diameter of 38.61 millimeters, and it is indeed four nines fine pure silver of one ounce, and it is uh, considered a brilliant uncirculated, although it does appear by the detail that you can see even in the snake and in the background that it has multiple finishes. It does not. It is a bullion finish, but it has this a very intricate, sharply struck uh, features throughout the coin. It is amazing. Now, the mintage of this is 100,000 pieces. So, therefore, there's plenty to go around to stack. This is what this is meant for. From what I understand, when this was sent to me, this is meant as what they consider to be prime bullion. And uh, prime bullion because it is indeed uh, an issue that is taking to a new level of quality, uh, which is characteristics of the Germania Mint. And uh, so this is a kind of a whole new category for Germania Mint. It is a big deal because they are now entering in the world of bullion coins, struck with precision and accuracy, but meant to be stacked and collected. Uh, so there you have it. I don't know what future issues will be, if they'll have different designs uh, coming down the pike. Who knows? But even if this stays the design of the Golden Eagle, it is a beautifully well-done piece. And again, the only compensation I receive for this video is receiving this in order to review to show you. But I am so impressed with it. It deserves its own video to showcase this uh, as another option. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I will post a link in the description to the details about this particular piece available in late June or early July at a bullion dealer uh, near you or online. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.